you guys have talked about the, the, the Big Ten and how it had become clear that the SEC and the Big Ten had separated themselves. Um, there are a lot of factors that went into that. But I'm just, what if today was Ohio State and Michigan announcing they were joining the Pac-12, right? There, there's got to be an alternate universe where that's what this is, right? You could flip this. Hey, LA, that's cool. And we're going to go join that conference. Why is it this? Why is it that you guys are staying here, the Big Ten is staying and adding? Why are we not in the world where Ohio State's leaving with a partner and going somewhere else? Why do we get to this spot? <coughs> Well, the, the uh, um, you know the Big Ten to Ohio State and Michigan, um, the, the tradition, the history, the relationships, and what we've accomplished thus far is solid. You know, technically, we didn't have to do anything because what we're doing is good. Um, and so, even when we're talking about divisions or you know, eight versus nine or all those type of things, let's keep in mind we're pretty solid. People, some of you were here when we started the Big Ten Network, and we didn't have full coverage in Ohio. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Remember that week yeah. leading up to that game? And there was parts of Ohio that didn't have the game on? Oh, my goodness. So at the end, thank goodness social media wasn't big at that particular time. <laughs> but the reality is the Big Ten is solid. So the only time in my tenure that I ever had that thought in my head was during the pandemic, when we couldn't play. That's the only time that I talked to the boss about, you know, maybe we just go independent. You know, my emotions were driving me more than my, you know, rational thinking. But uh, the Big Ten solid, Doug, is, is, is great. And so we're a place where schools want to be. And so bringing them in strengthens the Big Ten for all the reasons we talked about. There's no reason for, in my view, for a team up north or us or Wisconsin or anybody to think about leaving something that is very strong. We just made it stronger. So I'm, you know, I'm just, I get excited about the possibility of 24. But to your question, in my 17 and a half years here, um, there's only been one time we thought about, okay, let's go independent. We'll see if we can get our own deal and do that work. How long did your last year feel? Seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you weren't alone. Yeah, you were alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll talk to her about it. But I, I want to come back and say something about the, the, the uh, what happened with the Big Ten this was something UCLA and USC approached us. And as our athletic director said, this is um, a really solid, stellar conference. It's something also, I want to step back for a minute and just and think about where the future of the country is going. We know a lot about Intel investing in Central Ohio, in Silicon Heartland. It is really important for the future of the country that the Midwest step up and continue to be an innovative engine. And when you think about these, the, the universities that are in the Big Ten, uh, this is going to help strengthen the connections to the West Coast, the East Coast, and I think that this is our time in the Midwest to continue to build on that excellence and, and educate students that are going to be required for the future of the country, especially if Intel and semiconductor industry is going to reshore, and they're going to reshore here in Ohio. So that's, I think, the reason we stay. Always, will. we've got the confidence. They want to join us. Well, we're excited about that opportunity. All right, guys. Thank you.